put this down right here. I hate spiders! Seriously, how long have you girls been trapped here? You think you'd get used to this stuff by now? <sighs> I, you know what? I don't even care now. I'm just gonna kill all these things and move on with my life. Just come on. Get your sisterly butt over here and we'll keep. Why? We're right there! How many times do you need to freak out? There you are, little sister. I'm so happy that you're okay. Thank you so much, Link. Oh, but it seems as though this sister was not with Tetra either. Will you please bring my last sister back here safely? We will be hoping for your safe and swift return, Link. We will be waiting with bated breath. You will be waiting there with the highest level of suspicion and creepy that you can possibly come up with, because that is apparently how you live your lives. If they're even lives. Alright, I need to figure out how to get to wherever this other sister is. This, yeah, this side. And more spiders! Seriously, they're more annoying than anything else. <sighs> What do we got? A lot of... a lot of levels. Any hints, or is this more treasure chests? This is treasure chests, and there's only one of them! I don't really care! I can find it! I believe in me! Where is that ghost? I want him dead. He's way over there. What do we got? Steel drum storage ahead. So flip the switch to move the spikes. The switch is on the left and straight ahead. Okay. Hurry up. The steel drums are giggling to themselves, waiting for you to free them. That concerns me. Just like everything else in this building. That is a lot of spiders. Like, an unhealthy amount of spiders. And now they're all gone. Anyway. There are no Reaplings, I've noticed. Not that I'm complaining, but... I just had to open my mouth. Okay. Fine. I will deal with this. Some things in this world were meant to be pulled. Two, four, five, one, three. Okay. I'm gonna need to remember that. Let's see. Two, four, five, one, three. There we go. There's always an order in which such things must be pulled. Strange that I would believe the stone slabs in this ship, and not just the people in the ship. And yes, I just did that. <laughs> 200 more rupees! I heard that. Ow. Alright. Let's do it again. Because apparently, I like to live dangerously. <laughs> hoping to stun him by stabbing him in the back. Oh well. Okay. Oh yeah, you're still here. Whatever. One. 
to... There. Goodbye. Now then, finish these switches off. And there. Dink. Uh, I just walked into that. <sighs> All right. Where am I trying to find? The fact that I'm breaking all these steel drums does not speak very highly of the current condition of these drums. Well, I killed something. And found a switch. I think I'm done here. Do we do it again? Mm. Let's find out. Maybe I can just... Nope. I was hoping. Yep, I'm doing it. <laughs> Just trying to get by him. I take way too many risks. <laughs> I take way too many risks. Well, now I know which one's shaking. All things considered, that is actually a pretty scary thing to be going on. That wiggling animation is actually a little creepy. Oh, you found me. I was getting so lonely sitting here by myself. Who are you? I see. Well, I am the eldest sister of the House of Cubis. Oh, please take me to my younger sister's link. So... Oh, there is one thing I have to tell you. The creepy creatures with the hoods and sickles are called Reaplings. They are evil, but they are even more devilish when they're angry. So no matter what you do, don't shoot arrows into their backs. The back is a sensitive part of the body, you know. Well, I will just nonchalantly hang on to this bow and arrow in case uh, I don't need to shoot them in the back. But considering all the risks that I'm taking, I'm probably not even going to do that. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, I think it took me until this playthrough for me to realize that... Oh, crap. Yeah, see, she don't even care. The, I'm going to say she. The Reapling don't even care. Watch them just go by the child. Doesn't, doesn't do a thing. At all. What the heck? You know, just in case I needed another ha hammer in the... Another nail in the coffin. For these... Quote-unquote... Girls. That something is wrong with them. And it took me to this playthrough to realize that the Cubis... Uh, is just half the word. Since they are girls, the most appropriate term would be succubus. If they were boys, it would be incubus. Anyway, yeah. You know, those devilish things that, for the sake of not being crude, uh, charm their foes and consequently drain the life out of them. The method of doing such is very well known in popular culture. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with these girls who due to this being a children well not a children's game, but a game designed for all ages. It is most likely not going to have uh, the aspects of the stereotypical succubus. Whether or not that is a good thing, well, I'll let you decide that for yourselves. Oh, big sister! There you are, little sisters. Circle around, sisters. Time for some quality family time. The Reaplings should have scared the life from this boy in the hold. 
Doesn't he know how he's supposed to play along in this little game? <laughs> All it means is we're gonna have to play extra rough. Aw, did you come here to save Tetra, little man? Oh, no, no. Instead, we'll play with you the same way we played with her. It's game time, girls. Let's show Link the way to the playing field. Great. If you want to save Tetra, you'll have to play a match of Dead Man's Volley first. Uh, great. What a wonderful name. I appreciate that. So, are you big enough, boy, to return these volleys? Oh, they're disgusting. The Diabolical Cuba Sisters. Alright, let's play Energy Tennis. Uh, with lasers. Let's just... Yeah, thank you. Still the one. Ow! Okay, I guess I can't run under them. Wow, lasers that actually make some kind of sense. Ow! Huh, okay, so I don't have to reflect them in the right angle, I just have to hit them. As opposed to letting them just hit me, which is currently a thing that has happened. The nice thing is, as soon as they're stunned, they stop lasering. But the reflections off of them... ...are random. It's a lot of bounces. But they're close enough together that running to them isn't too much of a problem. Now it's just a question of how long is this going to take? Oh, well, yeah, that would make sense. Since they're three separate entities, they're going to have three separate life forces, right? That doesn't look like a thing I want. There we go. Okay. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Yeah. All right, two to go. Two, two go, two down. I can word properly. Just watch him bounce. Ah! And there's three down. That was fast. And now you've made life more difficult. just occurred to me, with four of them, you'd, you'd think that they would try a little harder to, like, aim and attack. You know, launch them at me, as opposed to just spread fire at this one child that's just kind of hanging out there. I can respect the random generation of the non-repellable item sphere. Goodbye. You really know how to play, Link. Gosh, we'd love to reward you, but we don't have any trophies for you. Instead, you can t drag that precious Tetra of yours with you. <laughs> Goodbye! That was creepy. Just like everything else here. Got the ghost key. That was amazing, Link! You beat those wicked volley girls at their own game! Come on, let's go use this key and rescue Tetra! I will, after I get this heart container that is in this very large chest. Goodness knows I deserve something from this expedition. Freaking babysitting. This is kind of neat. Instead of using the key to get into the boss room, you use it afterwards. It's different, and I appreciate different. That was a big door. Like, a real big door.
Okay. Whoa! Um... Uh, uh, Tetra? Uh, is that Tetra? What are we gonna do? She's a statue! Oh, hey, sorry I'm late, kid. Uh, that fog just disappeared, so I charged in to find you. So, about that treasure. You got piles of it, right? How, how can you even say that? Link's friend is in trouble! And all you can think about is treasure? Oh, so this is your friend. She's looking a bit pale. Ooh, something isn't right with this girl. Her soul didn't get sucked away, did it? This evil ship drained away her life force. Grandpa, what are you doing here? How did you get here? If you have come this far, Link, the power of the hero is with you. I could have told you that. Now is the time for me to tell the rest of the story. You're a clever boy. You may already know this. You see, these seas are my domain. I am not Oceus. I am the Ocean King. Oh, cool. I was savagely attacked by an unfathomable evil. Was his name Ganon or Ganondorf? Because I get that a lot. His name is Bellum. Oh, okay. His evil ran so deep that it leached the very life force from me. As you know, every creature in this world possesses a sacred power. This power is called life force. The sand of ours is a physical manifestation of that power. And that is what brought them here. Do tell. I struggled against my attacker in a great clash. But his evil was so dark that it slowly drained away my old life force. He was always a step ahead of my attacks, and I was eventually overcome. I was dragged to the sunless depths of the temple. Sealed up, my life force continues to drain away. Man, you must have a lot of it. Using the life force he leached from me. His evil spread and bred more and more foul monsters. The spirits of power and wisdom were also imprisoned. But Sila managed to split her soul and escape. That split was why so much of her memory was lost. Even among the monsters born of the Sand of Hours, some are especially evil. The phantoms who roam my temple take after the evil of their master. Supernatural strength, wrapped in plate armor, virtually invincible. They prowl the temple, searching for victims. No one can harm them. Of course, they were created to be untouchable. I had only one option. My ocean of strength had drained to a puddle. Using my last ounce of strength, I cloned myself just as Sila did. And I made a humble home on Murkay Island, where I made all of these pictures, because I had no time. Nothing but time. I used the Sand of Hours to make the hourglass and enter the temple. I studied my foe, searching for ways to defeat Bella, and waited for my chance. Sila, I'm sorry I could not tell you sooner. I worried about the spirits of power and wisdom. I never expected to find you on the beach. You'd lost your memory, and monsters were nearby. I thought it best to keep quiet until the time came. Nice story time. The Seas Islands are rich with life force. Oops. The evil things must have appeared to devour that. They just want to fill their empty bellies. They hunger for life force. The ghost ship was made to drain that life force. They used a story of treasure to lure people in. It wasn't enough for Bellum to steal my life force. He had to take what little he could from the people. Petra must have had a bold, vibrant soul. Yeah, she does. The ghost ship was drawn to that power. She didn't find it, it found her. Yeah, being attracted to divine birthright ancient glorious magic will do that. Wait! 
So you're saying there's no treasure? Yes, that's what I'm saying. From what I can sense, Tentra is still alive. Defeat that monster before my life force is depleted. I must get the Sand of Hours back. With it, I can restore Tetra's life force and restore her. There's an island north of the Isle of Gust. Go there and find Zaos. He's a blacksmith. He will tell you more about the great evil. He knows how to slay Bellum. This is some kind of sick joke, old man! The treasure! What about all the treasure?! That was the only reason I put my life on the line. And now there's no treasure? Well, I quit! You quit? Didn't you even listen to his story? You're a man of the sea. Don't you want to help the Ocean King? No, and you can't use my ship anymore. <laughs> no, no, I would never ask you to do this for free. If you help us defeat Bellum, I'll grant you one wish. What do you say to that? Hey, quit standing around, old kid. The Ocean King is in trouble. Ship out, kid! Anchors away! I said move it! Hmm. <laughs> One word about a wish and he leaped to action. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have involved you and Tetra in all this. Well, technically you didn't. Bellum did, so... I'm okay with that? With your power, you can defeat Bellum. My real body is sealed away deep in the temple. Bellum should be there, too. Normally, I would be fighting this battle myself, but you are our only hope. We're counting on you, Link. Yeah, it's alright. What are you doing, Link? Grab that friend of yours and get back to my ship! Oh, great, Link. We've got to get out of here. This is no time to sit around with your mouth hanging open. The old man said that Zao's the blacksmith holds the clue we're looking for. We have to find that blacksmith and defeat Bellum. And then... And then the treasure will be in my hands. <laughs> What's with you? Hey, do we really need to take this guy with us, Link? Ahem. <coughs> anyway, let's get going. Zal's lives on the island to the north of the Isle of Gus, right? It should be a short trip from here. Yep, let's stop wasting time. Let's go. Ship out! Yes, I remember Zal's. We can just... Transport ourselves over here. And we're off. One track mind, Lineback. I appreciate his determination to achieve the thing that he wants. Which is being surrounded by enormous piles of money. But hey, he's got a dream! Good for him! Okay. Zos! I'm back! 